What's up guys, BioRay and Classical Chief, and today we're here to show you how to get the Awaken the Gazebo achievement in the new Call of Duty Black Ops buried map thingy. <laughs> gazebo gazebo thingies, buried maps, this is going to be a great video, I can already it's tell. It's going to be an awesome video. <laughs> so, so for this achievement, what you need to do is you need to pack a punch a weapon on round one without using the refrigerator weapon storage box thingy. Or the um, uh, bank. That's the one. That's the one. So I don't know anything about zombies, so I'm gonna assume that pack a punching a weapon is when you fill it full of Capri Sun to make it just that much more powerful. Exactly. Yeah, you're exactly right. That makes sense. That's what I would do. I did that once with a shotgun. It did not turn out well. Let's just say sticky was not the correct word to use for what happened. <laughs> So basically, this ends up being uh, point whoring extreme, and there's two ways we're going to do that. Uh, first of all, as you saw a moment ago, we go are going to draw all the chalk weapons on the wall because you get a thousand points for each of those, plus two thousand for completing all of them. Wait a second. So now the game lets you create your own fake gun outlines that magically spawn weapons. It's like you have the magical power. You were the guy. You were the guy who drew all the chalk outlines in the first place. It's like you knew. This is this has gone to a new level. Well, zombies does have to do with uh, time travel, so oh my there God. is that. This is insane. Okay, so now here is actually one of the most difficult parts, and we're going to show it early, because if you screwed up, you can go ahead and restart at any time. And it's to get this uh, this guy, Sloth or Huckleberry or whatever you want to call him, to hit the Big barrier time, at gym. the... Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> at extreme distances, because the further away he hits the barrier from, the more points you get. As you saw, there were like 1,700-plus points there. That guy got and fucked up. Yeah, kind of like me. I get drunk and run into things, too. I mean, don't we all? Yeah. Well, yes. So there's the second weapon location, and like all, all the rest of the weapons now are going to be in this room, so not a big deal. Uh, except for that first one. Just don't miss that on the way down. And I'll show you all the locations. And the only other thing we're going to do is uh, build the trample steam, which is going to cost us uh, 750 points. And we already opened the saloon, where you can buy more booze for the dude. Well, uh, now... I have a question. Just by watching this, and, and it's great you're running around in this area, who in their zombie plan, in their solution for unlimited waves of the undead, decides to go underground, basically into what appears to be an old mining town? Like, you got to know you're completely screwed at that point, right? There's no way out. See, you, as much as you don't like it, it's all part of the story. I don't... What? They don't... <laughs> What part of the story says, hey, this is a great idea, guys. Let's go underground where the zombies can surround us more easily. Is it like, are you laying a trap for them? Is this like some, are you laying a trap well, for I'm something? Cur I'm currently a building a trap. Does well, that count? I guess maybe. This doesn't make <laughs> any sense to me. People have tried to explain it to me for years. I don't make any sense. None whatsoever. So that, that was all the locations of the uh, trample scene parts. We built the trample steam. We're going to kite the zombie around so we can get to the top of, I think this is the courthouse or something My like that. Right uh, but basically you don't have to break any barriers or open any stuff to get there. If you use the trample scene up on the roof like this. Hmm. Make sure the zombie does not hit that because they die like noobs. Wow, you just vaulted like a freaking 14-year-old in the Olympics. That was nice. That's the trample scene for you. Sweet. Science and shit. Do you think Blade Church <laughs> invented that? Mm. Uh, well, it is steam powered, so maybe. Yeah, but possible. <laughs> make sure you grab the trample steam again, first of all, so the zombie doesn't die, and second of all, uh, you're gonna need it a little later. Uh, so here we are back in the saloon. We gotta open the top, and don't ask me why I do not have another chalk outline yet, because it's right up there. So let's, let's grab that now. Editing. Yay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is becoming like an absolute kerfuffle at this point. You are running all over this place, drawing chalk all over the place. It's like you're a little kid in summer vacation who's run out of things to do. You know? <laughs> it's like... You <laughs> so once you, once you draw that one on top of the uh, saloon, jump across the building to turn the power on, or else you won't actually be able to use the pack a punch oh, And God. then we buy more booze. That was another thing I learned, that if you run, like, electrodes through the Capri Sun when you charge the weapon, it's actually better. It works better. This, when did you do this experiment? Uh, I wish I could say recently, but it was probably when I was a lot stupider. So once again, this is the only other hard one. You gotta kind of line this one up kind of far back. You want to get uh, Dude, at least a thousand points for that. Zombie just got crushed. Oh yeah, uh, the beautiful thing about Sloth or Huckleberry or whatever is, if he hits the zombies, he doesn't actually kill them. That will respawn. Oh, well, I should make a note actually. Uh, the last zombie you hold, like after you kill all the other ones at the start. Uh, do not shoot him at all, or else he will die out. 
You yeah. can't hurt him at all. So last zombie can't take any damage because he's like a but from sissy. you. Oh, from, from you. you. Yeah. So he so he's like super sissy. If he takes any damage at all, he just immediately dies. He faints. <laughs> no, I mean Slotier fucked him up. Oh, that's true. By the way, yeah, that was like sped up like three times, and that's that's actually how slow. Sl uh, sloth walks. Man. It's kind of annoying, but it will come to you as long as you have booze. That dude needs a Red Bull. I'd come to you if he had booze, too, but anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's beside the point. Okay, so we opened up that. Um, we have our last... This is going to be our last chalk outline. This will be up here. We're going to grant us the uh, 2,000 bonus points. The artistic powers have left us at this point. We've got nothing left. I don't know. I, that, that was a pretty artistic gun I just drew in the yeah, water. Oh, yeah, that was great. I mean, that's so lifelike and realistic. You're going to get hired as an illustrator for Call of Duty Ghosts or whatever. Dude, it's so lifelike I can buy guns off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the whole thing. The whole story is all shambles. They just wanted to tell, like, an Alan Wake-style story except with an artist instead of a writer. Okay, so we had uh, we had a little over 7,000 there. and Well, 7,660. But uh, we're not going to buy more booze. We're actually going to jump the barrier right over here with the trample steam. And that's how you save the extra money. And that's why we also we bought the gun so we could uh, have a little better time in the uh, in the, in the the whorehouse here. I'm going to call it the whorehouse because these fucking bitches are... Oh, God. Wait, there's bitches? Whoa! What? Yeah. That is not... What the frig is this? Yeah, they're, they're some sort of spirits. And if they touch you, they take 2,000 points off you per hit. Holy... Wow. Okay, this game is really going off the rails <laughs> fast. <It's laughs> we, we've just crossed over into, like, weird spirit zombie chicks that live in a whorehouse. After, I don't even get this, man. I Now you're in a freaking maze. By the way, when you pick, if the lights are on when you do that, which they should be the first time you come through it, uh, when you kill the last ghost, you get a free perk. So if you don't have the achievement already, you'll also get ex ex ectoplasmic residue. Ooh. Almost screwed up that word. But Man. <laughs> don't mind me getting lost in the maze either, though. Getting covered uh, by slime. The maze does change each time, but basically you want to find the gazebo. Go figure, right? And once you get to the bottom of that, we're going to throw a weapon into the pack of punch as long as the power's on, like I said before. Got to have that and power. Got to fill it with that have tasty juice. Hey, look at that. Throw your weapon in there. We got the Mustang and Sally's, because why not? And bleep bloop. Awaken the gazebo. 30 gamer score. A lot of gamer score. Not too difficult. You just got to be a point horror extreme. I did not see one gazebo anywhere in that extremely long achievement guide.